वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सीरस मेम्ब्रेन वन ऑफ द बेसिक टॉपिक और वेरी बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू जर्नल एंड आर्ट मी सम हाउ यू मस्ट हैव सम आइडिया व्हाट आर द सीरस मेम्ब्रेन्स वेयर दे आर लोकेटेड व्हाट रोल दे प्ले सम बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन यू मस्ट हैव अबाउट सीरस मेम्ब्रेन एक्चुअली इफ समबडी आस्क यू व्हाट इज द सीरस मेम्ब्रेन फॉर मी सीरस मेम्ब्रेन इज अ डबल लेयर्ड मेम्ब्रेन which which is actually made up of the simple squamous cell which is actually made up of the simple squamous epithelium they are double doubled layered membrane technically they are what simple squamous epithelium to understand serous membrane properly you must have knowledge of body cavities because the location of serous membrane where you will find this serous membrane serous membrane actually a produce of fluid which is called a serous fluid this is also important serous membrane actually do two things number one they lines the body cavity the wall of body cavity is covered by what serous membrane and also the organ which are in that body cavity they are also covered by what serous membrane try to understand this thing the wall of body cavity is covered by serous membrane that body cavity also have what organ so that organ is also covered by you will need to to understand this concept let me tell you one thing let's draw a ideal a imaginary body cavity let's suppose this is a body cavity this is a what you know body cavity is the potential space a compartment you are getting me so this is what this is let's suppose this is a body cavity so body cavity have what organ this is a organ let's suppose so what really happened here think you need to understand this the wall of body cavity is covered by a membrane covered by a membrane okay this membrane is continue and making a fold okay and covering what organ covering also the organs no try to understand this thing here this red line is what body cavity this red line is the wall of body cavity this is a what wow. wall of the body cavity this one is the wall of body cavity okay this black line is the actually serous membrane i told you serous membrane is a doubled membrane how look this this area which is actually we need an other color to make this more understand this black lining maybe okay so this black lining is what serous membrane serous membrane is the double layer the layer actually which cover which lines the wall of body cavity is known as parietal layer is known as parietal layer this is known as what the black one is known as parietal layer okay okay this blue area this is actually what this is a fold of serous membrane this is a what fold of serous membrane this also has special label special locations and the the serous membrane which is covering the organ which is covering the organ it is known as what this is known as visceral layer this is known as you know from viscera this is known as what visceral layer try to understand this your serous membrane is a double layer the one layer is called as what parietal layer yes other one is called as visceral layer what is the difference between parietal layer and what is the difference between visceral layer look here again carefully <coughs> the lining of body cavity the lining of 
body cavity is known as what? The part of serous membrane which cover the organ is known as visceral layer. Up to here, you have one idea. That idea is what? This serous membrane actually a double layer membrane. One layer which is do what? Cover the body cavity known as parietal. That same layer make a in fold, make a fold and cover the organs. This is known as what? Visceral layer. Things you need to understand. Look this. This is how this during development this thing is happen. This is what? This is let's suppose serous membrane. This is what? Serous membrane. Here you have a an organ. Here you have a organ. How this is happening? This actually organ. This let's suppose this serous membrane is like, uh, like a balloon. Like a if you push your hand on balloon, it will go inside. So if this organ is like your head is is pushing down, is pushing. What will you have in the next diagram? You may have like this. This organ is coming down. Okay? Finally, here, this hole become like this. Okay? So this, what really happening here? This will, this line will be become what? Parietal layer. This will become what? Parietal layer. And this which is covering this hair. This will, the hair is the developing of the fold, this fold, okay? So this will become what? Visceral layer. Actually, the thing you need to understand, this, because of doing this activity, there is a space is developing, you know? There is, what is happening here? Space. So here is actually a formation of cavities occurring, a small cavity. Here is a formation of small cavities occurring. So this actually, these cell, these cell are what? They are simple squamous cell. They are what? Simple squamous epithelium. So these simple squamous epithelium actually produce serous fluid. They produce serous fluid. So they because of this cavity, because of this fluid, this organ have some space, this organ have some place to uh, lubrication and this organ have ability to expand and relax because these membranes are providing some space and also providing some fluid. Fluid is producing by simple squamous epithelium and because of these two layers, there is a formation of Cavities are correct. There is a formation of? I will explain these things with proper examples now. Things you need to understand till up to here. This serous membrane is a, are two membranes actually. And they are made up of what? Simple squamous epithelium. So here in this, that case, this outer lining is the wall of the body cavity. Serous membrane actually lies in the body cavity. This is a fold. Okay, this is the organ is covered by the how this organ is inter and other presentation. This which actually explain the cavity formation of cavity. So we have two major body cavities in our bodies which we give a lot of focus. One is thoracic body cavity, other is abdominal pelvic cavity. So this membrane <coughs> have different name in different areas. Have different name. The serous membrane which lines the abdominal cavity is known as peritoneum. The serous membrane lines the abdominal cavity is known as what? Peritoneum. Peritoneum. So in that case, look here. Let me explain you. For example, let's take example. This diagram is belongs to abdomen. This diagram is belongs to abdomen so this is let's for this is intestine this organ is intestine so here this layer will be called as parietal peritoneum this will be called as this black layer this one will be called as parietal peritoneum this will be called as which is covering this organ this is which called as what visceral 
peritoneum called as in the case of abdominal cavity this will be called as visceral peritoneum okay uh, one thing more you need to understand this fold look here this will be called as mesentery this will be called as mesentery this is also important in the case of intestine and in the case of abdominal cavity and this you know also there is a cavity there is also formation of cavity this cavity is called as what peritoneal cavity this is called as peritoneal listen again carefully serous membranes have in body cavity special names also if the serous membrane in where abdominal cavity this will be called as peritoneum if the serous membrane in the thoracic cavity around the lungs will be called as pleura will be called as pleura if it is covering the heart will be called as pericardium will be called as look again carefully so let's be let me draw here lungs also for to understand so the line which is covering the pleural cavity the serous membrane which is covering the pleural cavity wall of the cavity will be known as what parietal pleura will be known as parietal pleura if this this lungs they are in a cavity like this okay they are called as what parietal pleura so here you have what next the line which is covering the lungs so this is called as what visceral pleura visceral pleura cavity here is forming because of serous membrane is known as pleural cavity known as pleural cavity that's clear same in the heart is we called as uh, pericardium and pericardial cavity so listen again carefully about the serous membranes serous membranes are actually two layers made up of what simple squamous epithelium and they lines the internal body cavities they lines the internal body cavities they, from there they produce serous fluid so here with this diagram if this is a wall of body cavity next we have what a layer which is covering body cavity that is known as parietal layer a layer which cover the organ is known as serous membrane have on different location special name serous membrane in uh, abdominal cavity is known as peritoneum serous membrane in uh, pleural cavity is known as pleura serous membrane in heart or in the mediastinum is known as pericardium that's clear with this you will find different name because if this diagram is blank to abdominal cavity this layer will be known as parietal peritoneum the layer this covering the organ will be known as visceral peritoneum a fold will be if this organ is what this organ is intestine this is known as mesentery if here this is a, this organ is stomach this fold will be known as no this will be known as omentum this will be known as Omentum. They are these fold are much common. Uh, uh, Omentum and mesentery are the terms related to serous membrane which are in the abdominal cavity. They are much important. That's clear. We will discuss in further classes with in detail. Okay. So here, if the case of the uh, thoracic cavity, so this if this is the pleural cavity, we have what so, uh, the lungs, the line which is covering this cavity is known as. parietal pleura which is covering the lungs is known as visceral pleura that's clear anything else okay thank you very much.